بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الحبيب في الله continuing on in our study of the treaties by Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi Allah يرحمه هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا this is our call and this is our creed we already discussed in the previous sitting the ibar or statement of Imam Mukbil rahmatullahi where he said naqrahu ilm al kalam wa nara annahu min a'zam al asbab li tafarraqat al ummah where the shaykh said that we detest or despise ilm al kalam you know, this kind of philosophy and this methodology of taking one's intellect over the Quran and the Sunnah. And that we see that it is one of the greatest reasons for divisions. So, after we brought some of the Adilla from Kitab or Sunnah, and some of the statements of the Salaf. It's important that we understand some of the Adilla with regards to dividing as an Ummah because we're supposed to be one hand and we're supposed to have one Aqidah and one Minhaj. But instead we've divided as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa la tatabi al-subul fa tafaraka bikum an sabili in surah al-an'am ayat 153 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and do not follow the various paths and then divide from his path meaning if we take various aqa'id and creeds and methodologies for understanding Islam that will divide from the Suratullahi Mustaqim, that will divide and we will be away from the Suratul Mustaqim, the straight path that leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because there's no way that all of these various madhabs and minhajs lead to the same place because they're going like this, they're going in opposing directions. But there's only one Surat for us to traverse, one straight path. And hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of the law and do not divide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to divide into groups in the sects. And the Mufassireen from the Salaf describe that Hablillah, this rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as being the Quran and as being the Qur'an and the Sunnah, and as being the Jama'ah. And all of these uh, understandings complement one another in that we should not divide into sectarianism. We should not go to divide to various ways of trying to uh, reinterpret the Qur'an aside from the interpretations of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we should not traverse the path of trying to negate or change the meaning of the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and especially not the path of ta'wil of trying to metaphorically explain away the Quran and the Sunnah without the deal to do so, without the evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah to show that that particular verse or that particular uh, hadith should uh, is metaphorical. If you have adilla from Kitab or Sunnah, that that is metaphorical, then we go with the adilla. But if not, then we take it in its apparent meaning. This is the asl and from the usul of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah with regarding uh, with regards to understanding the nasus and. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, 
ولا تكونوا كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا من بعد ما جاءهم البينة وأولئك لهم وأولئك لهم عذاب عظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز ان سورته سورته علي سورته علي عمران that do not be like those who divided and differed after clarity came to them verily for them is a painful punishment so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a wa'id shadeed you know a very severe threat of punishment for the one who divides in his or her religion and one thing we have to note as is mentioned in Surah Al-Bayna and here in Ali Imran and many other verses Allah always mentions that the people went astray and divided after clarity came to them meaning the hujjah was established the evidence and the the evidence was established on what you should follow what you should do what you should not do how you should understand what your aqidah what your creed should be al bayna the people didn't divide until bayna came to them to clarity okay it's made clear for you but then you divide why have them that and this is the case this is the case of the people for us the Jews and the Christians and this is the case with the Muslims as well that many of us have divided after the truth has come the truth has been uh, established from the Quran and the Sunnah the Quran has stopped being revealed it's already been revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the understanding has been given to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions already Allah Ta'ala Ajma'een but still we differ still we want to fight and argue and debate about the meanings and more often than not we take those meanings to fit our desires this is the, what's incredibly dangerous And there's many nasus from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also telling us about the importance of being one jama'ah, sticking to the jama'ah, being with the Taifat al Mansura, the victorious group or sect, meaning those who adhere to Kitab wa Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf and so forth. And we mentioned some of them already before, and I and I suppose it doesn't hurt to to mention again some of those nusus. For example, the Prophet said, The best people is those people of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. The Prophet said, If Tarakat al Yahud ala ita was sabain fiqa, with Tarakat al Nasara ala thnatain was sabain fiqa, was a taftariku had the umma ala thalata was sabain fiqa, kullaha fin nala al wahida. The Prophet ﷺ said the Jews broke into 71 sects and the Christians in the 72 sects and my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. The Prophet ﷺ said, It's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala'ani majma'een. Adu alayha bin nawadij, and bite onto it, cling onto it with your molar teeth. Wa iyaakum al muhtatad al amur, and beware of newly invented manners. Fa inna kullu bid'at al dalala. Verily, all bid'ah, or innovation in the religion, leads to misguidance. So again, adhering to that asal of kitab wa sunnah, that foundation, and not dividing, not dividing to new interpretations, new bid'ah, new ways of, of, of understanding the text, because that understanding is what forms our Islam. That's the basis of our Islam. And if we choose to follow those various other paths, will be misguided and will follow the menhaj and the methodology of those who came before us from the Jews and the Christians who went astray 
They can't say they can't say now you can't have a Jew who says, Yes, I'm going to paradise. They can say that. But as a Muslim, we don't believe that. Because they've already strayed and they didn't believe in Muhammad sallallahu and follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise the Christians. We hope for their guidance. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a class with the bad the sunnah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Ameen. But if you divide from the straight path and the correct understanding, then you'll be led astray. And if we follow the way of those other groups, we'll be led astray and sects and deans and religions. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, and I believe it's in Sahih Muslim, he said that you will follow the way of those who came before you, arm span by our hand span by hand span, arm span by arm span, or footprint by footprint, until they entered the hole of a lizard. And the companions, they asked, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? And he said, They said, uh, Ya Rasulullah, the Jews and the Christians? And the Prophet said, Who else? Meaning that we would follow their way. We would have shirk. We would follow, we would fall into division, divisiveness, sectarianism. And we would actually, our ummah, as there are many in our ummah who fall into shirk. Some of them leave the fold of Islam. And some of them fall into shirk and make tobo by the permission and fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the na'mah from Allah. And this is very imperative that we adhere to the kitab wa sunnah with the understanding of the salaf of this ummah and avoid ahl kalam and avoid uh, like the Diobandis and the Ashadis and the Mu'tazila and all these other sects and the various Sufi turq that follow those aqai that have an asl of taking the making preference to the to their intellect over the nasus of the Quran and the Sunnah. And the reason this is dangerous, as we've already talked about, is it will lead you astray. It will lead you from the uh, correct interpretation of Kitab al Sunnah. It will lead you away from the Minhaj of the Salaf because we believe in accordance with the Kitab al Sunnah. We do not, our intellect may lead us to something else, and everyone's intellect differs from everyone else. Our intellects are not the same. We don't have the same intellectual capacities and intellectual ability. Some people are blessed with great intellect. Some people have more moderate intellect. Some people have low intelligence or low intellectual capacity. Some people are thinkers. Some people don't think much. And we vary with regards to our ability, our innate ability, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored us with. And even the striving to attain and exercise our intellectual capacity. We vary with regards to that. So due to the, all those factors, if you're interpreting an ayat to, to mean this, and he's interpreted to mean this, and this scholar's interpreted this, and this one this, how is it we can practice Kitab or Sunnah? Because we can't say that Islam is so broad it just accommodates everything. Otherwise, that would go against the Nasus where the Prophet ﷺ said, Man Whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected. Because there's no way all of our intellects will lead us in various ways, with various interpretations, and then various levels of practice, which we already have these issues and problems. But at least we have the truth and we have the Nasus that show us that that's not permissible and that's Medhmoon. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who tra traverse the path of Kitab al Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah.